we have a whole bunch of features tied to putting custom game logic up on the server. So in this case, we have a couple different things. The first thing is the ability to create a custom server build that you upload to servers that PlayFab manages for you. So this is the most commonly done for things like first-person shooter games, MOBA games, any sort of real-time multiplayer game that has you know, uh, a very low latency requirements and, and requires fast response time, you might want to go ahead and build a custom server for. And so you build a custom server, uh, you can actually go in and you can upload that server as a zip file to, to us. Uh, you can then define how many instances of that server can run on a given machine, some command line arguments, and you can actually then go ahead and turn that server on in a given region like US Central. And what's going to happen is we will then actually spin up a dedicated server for your game in that region running the server build that you just uploaded to us. And once it's fully up and running, clients can then connect to that server and can actually then uh, start playing multiplayer games. So here's an example where here's that server I just provisioned in US Central. This is a, 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 an EC2 instance on Amazon. You can see the uptime is in this just 10 seconds. It's never been pinged because it's not running yet, uh, and so forth. And so this is basically coming up to speed now. In about two minutes, the server will be up and running, and clients can start connecting to it for multiplayer games. And so this is great for multiplayer games. Uh, we also have, we're, we're, this is great for multiplayer games where you have to build your own custom server from scratch. If you want to be able to use Photon, Photon is a really great system for building multiplayer games. We've got a great partnership with Photon. We've made it very, very easy to integrate with Photon. Uh, and so we've got this Photon tab where if you click the, this, this app's already had it enabled, but by default, Photon is not turned on. There's a big enable Photon button. You click it, we'll go ahead and turn on Photon uh, and, and create some applications for you on the Photon cloud that you can then start using from within your game for doing multiplayer games on, on Photon. We also have this thing called CloudScript. CloudScript is really cool. CloudScript is JavaScript that you can author and then uh, upload to our servers that allows you to put some basic code on the server side without having to go to the trouble of building a custom server or using Photon. So if you just want to do a couple basic logic on the server, for example, some validation, some anti-fraud stuff, you can write it as cloud script, you can upload it, and then it lives on the server and it runs within the player context. So for example, you can see down here, I've got this, um, and, 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 and from cloud script, you can very easily call any of our server APIs. So our server APIs, are more powerful than the client APIs. There are certain things that server API is allowed to do that the client API is not allowed to do. So for example, under say player item management, the server API is allowed to do things like uh, grant items to user, which is, which is how you, you give a, a player an item. Grant items to user is something you can't do from the client side API, only from the server side API. And so here you can see um, server, in cloud script we're calling grant items to user we're passing in the current the current player ID is a variable that's already set to the current player's ID, and then a list of whatever items we're giving to this player. In this case, if you look at item found, you can see here that item found is a locked treasure chest. So we're actually going to give the player a locked treasure chest whenever this uh, this code is run. This code is called simulate game. So it's actually code that simulates a battle on the server side as cloud script and gives the player some some stuff. And you can actually see in the documentation, we the client API, you can actually see uh, the functions here of how you actually run that cloud script from uh, from your game client is where, the, where, where that runs from. So that's uh, that's that's cloud script. 